Good morning, everybody. It is time for our daily devotion. It is Saturday morning, and the new house is already hopping. I did sneak this in right before the clock turned seven, so we're still in the six o'clock hour. And uh, if you're up, kudos to you. You should get one of those stars right there. If you're up already doing your daily devotion, it's the passionate living. Lent devotion and we are on day 18 if you can believe that we've gone all this many days so far and it's going to be a great opportunity to dive back into the book of Mark as we've been doing and uh, we're on Mark chapter 6 now we get to transition into chapter 6 so that's what we do we start with the scripture each day there's a QR code that'll help you get there today it'll be Mark chapter 6 1 through 13 and uh, of course you could also use your personal bible as well a big shout out to our brother in christ wally bergman who provided our devotional reflection for today so let's dive into the text and see what it has to say for us jesus left that part of the country and returned with his disciples to nazareth his hometown the next sabbath he began teaching in the synagogue And many who heard him were amazed. They asked, where did he get all this wisdom and the power to perform such miracles? Then they scoffed, he's just a carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon, and his sisters live right here among us. They were deeply offended and refused to believe in him. Then Jesus told them, a prophet is honored everywhere except in his own hometown and among his relatives and his own family. And because of their unbelief, he couldn't do any miracles among them except to place his hands on a few sick people and heal them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then Jesus went from village to village teaching the people, and he called his twelve disciples together and began sending them out two by two giving them authority to cast out evil spirits. He told them to take nothing for their journey except a walking stick, no food, no traveler's bag, and no money. He allowed them to wear sandals, but not to take a change of clothes. Wherever you go, he said, stay in the same house until you leave town. But if any place refuses to welcome you or listen to you, shake its dust from your feet as you leave, to show that you have abandoned those people to their fate. So the disciples went out, telling everyone they met to repent of their sins and turn to God. And they cast out many demons and healed many sick people, anointing them with olive oil. And the title of our reflection today is Further His Kingdom. Wally writes, Two very different astonishments stand side by side in these verses. First, Jesus' teachings among his hometown neighbors. Despite his magnificent work of deliverance, reaction to him is mixed. In the Greco-Roman world, most regarded a carpenter as uneducated and uncouth, and a man was identified only as a son of his father. To be identified only as a son of his mother could be an insult. And secondly, Jesus marveled at their unbelief even after they witnessed his mighty works. Jesus knew he would soon complete his earthly ministry by dying on the cross to pay the penalty for the sins of all mankind. Thus, Jesus sent his disciples out two by two, giving them authority to teach, heal, and perform miracles. His ministry was expanded. And while the disciples gained valuable experience, which would bear much fruit in their ministries after Jesus' ascension. So there are two uh, reflection questions for you to chew on today. Number one, is Jesus astonished by your reaction to his gospel? And number two, what can you do to further his kingdom? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Open our eyes and hearts to your healing grace. Give us courage and strength to witness for you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, big big thanks to those who joined us this morning. 
live for our daily devotion. We even got a little Grandma Peters in the house. That's awesome. And um, if you're wanting to take this conversation, this text, further into conversations in your home, you'll see the, the Kids Connection over here uh, where you get to just ask some practical questions and, and help your kids discover their gifts and how God may already even now uh, use those gifts to serve Him and to expand His kingdom. So enjoy Saturday wherever you are. I pray that God shows His presence to you today and that you are blessed.